Assalamu alaikum. Welcome viewers to our documentary where we are going to discuss about glacial and interglacial period as a part of our course meteorology. Firstly, the term glacier. Glacier is a large accumulation of crystalline ice that originates on land. What is glacial period? It refers to an interval of time within an ice age that is marked by colder temperatures and glacier advances. The oldest known glacial period is the Huronian. On the other hand, an interglacial period is a geological interval of warmer global average temperature lasting thousands of years that separates consecutive glacial periods. Within an age, uh, the current Holocene interglacial period uh, began at the end of the Pleistocene about 11,700 years ago. It is important to study glaciers because they indicate climate change and global warming. Thank you. Glacial period is a portion of geologic time during which a much larger part of Earth surface was covered by glaciers than at present and within an ice age that is marked by colder temperature and glacier advances. There have been three major glaciations during the Ferrozoic including the Sahara, the Cairo and the Cenozoic glaciations. The last glacial period was the most recent glacial period within the Quantary glaciations occurring in the Philistine. The amount of the heat trapping gases being emitted into earth, oceans and atmosphere may delay the next glacial period. Interglacial period. An interglacial period is a geological interval of warmer global average temperature. Let's quickly know what happened during interglacial period. Where interglacial period is occurred, the sea levels rise as ice melts and glaciers melt with the increase in temperature. Why interglacial period is occurred? Interglacial period tends to happen during times of more intense of solar radiation in the northern hemisphere. This is the figure of interglacial period. Are we living in interglacial period? Yes, we are in an interglacial period right now. It began at the end of the last glacial period about 10,000 years ago. I discuss about the glaciers interglacial cycles. Ice sheets in the northern hemisphere have grown. It's called a glacier period. It occurs recently about 120 years, 1000 years to 11,500 years ago. Since then, Earth has been an interglacial period, so ice sheets retreated. It's also called as halocene. Glacier periods are colder, duster, and drier than interglacial periods. The cycles have waxed and wanted throughout the quaternary periods. Since the middle quaternary, the cycles have had a frequency of about 100,000 years. In the solar radiation time series, cycles of this lens, known as eccentricity, are present but are weaker than cycles, lasting about 23,000 years, which are called the processions of equinoxes. Interglacial periods tends to occur during periods of peak solar radiation of this northern hemisphere. Summer full interglacial occurs only about every fifth peak of this cycle. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Myself MD Islam. Today I can present the difference between the glacial and interglacial period. So let's go in this scheme. Different between glacial and interglacial. Glacial is very cold period, on the other hand, interglacial is warm period. Glacial weather is very dry, on the other hand, uh, interglacial uh, weather is humid. Lower rainfall in the glacial period, very rainfall in the interglacial period. Less vegetation, on the other hand, more vegetation. Land must covered with more ice sheet or glacier. Land must covered and with less ice sheet or glacier. In glacial period, sea level was dropping. On the other hand, in interglacial period, sea level was rising. Ice sheet advanced from higher latitude to lower latitude. Ice sheet retreat from lower latitude to higher latitude. Savanna landscape is the tropical and subtropical zone in the glacial period. On the other hand, rainforest is the tropical and subtropical zone in the interglacial period. Assalamu alaikum. I am Shark. 
I am discussing on effect of glacier and interglacial period. During a glacier, sea level drop and average of 100 meter as water is evaporated and is stored in the growing glaciers and ice sheets. So during an interglacial, sea level rise as ice sheets and glaciers melt with the increase in temperature thus resulting in an increase in volume of the ocean as water is heated. Over the last 4,50,000 years, glaciers have lasted anywhere from 70,000 to 90,000 years, whereas interglacial last approximately 10,000 years. In conclusion, I would like to say that presently we are experiencing an abnormally long interglacial called the Holocene that has lasted nearly 11,000 years. A new glaciation has been expected to begin. However, due to human-induced climate change or anthropogenic climate change, the next glaciation is being delayed anywhere from a few thousand to hundreds of thousands of years. Glaciation inception involves a sequence of events that still needs to be better documented for most interglacial prior to the last one. There is not yet a clear understanding of what controls the length of the each interglacial and there is no perfect analog for the present interglacial. However, inception at pre-industrial greenhouse gas concentrations seems unlikely without a strong precession cycle suggesting a long interglacial ahead of us. Thank you for watching.